I'm on a highway, a monster highway, and I'm going to drive it all night long. Well, un until somebody bashes a monster into my car and destroys the road and makes me, I guess, return to start, however, however that works. This is Monster Highway. It's by One Day West Games. It plays two to four players. It takes 30 minutes to play and it's for ages eight and up. And the game is literally about driving down a monster highway. You're gonna get inside your little vehicle. You're gonna be rolling die. You're gonna be placing tiles and trying to get to your home base. Everybody else wants to do the same thing as well. And for some reason they wanna do it before you. So if they can get there before you, they're going to win the game. Now that being said, when you roll the die, it's very likely that monsters are gonna pop up. And when they do, it's going to have this little figure here. And it's gonna go ahead and stomp around the board in either random locations or a location of your choice and that is going to send players back so you're going to be rolling dice moving attempting to get to your start space before anybody else gets to their start space while attempting to stop those other players and if you can do so you win the game of monster highway i don't know I, i'm a terrible singer i've just tortured you guys with my singing i hope you enjoyed that anyway down below i'll show you the game here is monster highway and it's all set up for four players and what you're going to do to begin the game is you're going to open up the board place it down the middle of the table place this starting space which is going to look re remarkably similar to the original starting space and then place a car for each and every player that wants to play the game additionally for each and every player that wants to play a game they're going to be getting a player board which tells you the die results and their combinations and what they present as well as their starting space, a monster buster tile, and five of these monster highway tokens and or tiles. You're going to get a hand of a total six tiles, which are these guys here. Whenever you play them, you're going to be drawing back up. And this is a separate one, which also requires you to still play it on the space in which it also remarkably looks similar to, and move your car onto that space before anybody else. There's also going to be a bunch of additional tiles here. The rule book, there's going to be three different die here, two of which will be used in combination when you roll on your turn one of which is the movement die which goes anywhere from zero to five spaces there's a monster deck basically just going to say where the monster is going to move maybe it'll go to e3 e3 or maybe it'll be wild and you can put it wherever you want regardless you'll shuffle this deck up place it here and place the monster to the side because that's where it's going to begin but it will go on the board finally there's these two cards here for whenever you become the champion of the game and then this one here says, I don't know, take a picture with the monster and show all the cool people and places you've been. So if you want to drive on the highway and take a picture of this monster here, just, yeah. Hi, there you go. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the game now. You're all set up. You've got your five tiles. You've got your monster buster, which you're going to put into your hand here, totaling six cards, and you've got your home base area set up. Now let's go ahead and start with a random player. Maybe the last person who's seen a monster movie. On your turn, all you're going to do is simply take the die and then you're going to go ahead and roll them, setting aside the movement die. So you have these two and roll. So red's going to roll. And based on what you roll, that combination, you're going to then look at your player board. And on the player board, it tells you what they do. And in this one here, it says you're going to play two tiles. So you're going to take tiles from your hand and they're going to be things like roads. They're going to be things like actions and they're going to be things like re-rolls and whatnot that you can go ahead and use from your hand. Now, I'm actually just going to go ahead and place this right here. And whenever you place a tile, it must connect to a adjacent tile and it has to make sure that it functions so obviously you couldn't do something like this it has to actually connect to the road itself so that's one tile there and i can do one more so i'll place this just like this just follow the rules of the road as you would assume that would be built and you'll be fine in the game after you have finished your roll and whatever it tells you to do then you're going to draw back up to your hand of six cards which obviously includes the monster buster and your turn is then over and the next player is going to get a chance to go and roll you'll look at the combination here which says play a single tile and then draw a monster card and move it i'm blue i want to go over here so i'll place this tile just like this there i'll draw back up to my total and then i'm going to use this to reveal a monster card it says go to f4 look for f look for four and place it down when there is a card that puts a monster down on the board if a, another car is on that space that car returns to the middle of the board if the monster lands on a space that is at the end of a road, that specific tile will blow up. And if the monster lands on a space that is not the end of a road, that tile will stay there. So in this case, if it landed here, nothing would happen. 
if there was a car here or cars, when the monster landed on that specific space, the cars would then go back to the middle of the board. And so basically what the monster does is it blows up tiles at the edge of a road and it removes the cars from the board and puts them back into the middle. In this case, it was just on F4. And then you're gonna make sure the cards are all in the discard pile here. And if this deck runs out, you'll reshuffle it. If the tiles run out, you'll reshuffle them. Rolling again for the next player. It's another place and another, what is it called, monster. So let's go ahead, yellow wants to go over here. So maybe yellow will place this here. And then they're gonna draw an extra tile and they're going to reveal another monster card, which moves to E2. Boom, no big deal. Green's turn. Green's got a car and a road. So now here's a new one. And what it says is you're gonna play one tile from your hand. Green's gonna go ahead and wants to go over here. So maybe he'll place just like that and then draw back up. And finally, because he rolled a car symbol, he'll get to roll and move their car. Two spaces. You can move up to two spaces or up to the number of die represented here. So in this case, he's just gonna go one because you can't move off of the board. And you also can't, if, for instance, if it looked like something like this, you couldn't go from here to here. You have to actually follow the roads. But that's pretty much the idea of the game. Eventually tiles are going to make their way to the, one, of the, one of the player's ending spaces. I'll go ahead and just show you guys what it would look like. And when that happens, you're able to place your final piece provided you roll a place tile space. And when you do that, if your car gets to that space before any other player, you win the game of Monster Highway. Just be aware of that dreaded monster and a couple of the actions which we'll talk about above for my review of the game. Driving down the Monster Highway can be a challenging experience. You'll have to deal with monsters and other players attempting to set you back to the starting location so that you don't get back to your home base. The ways players can mess with you are the monster, like I showed you previously, how they can just randomly or purposely go onto a space that you're on. Monsters can't go on the main starting location or on a player's home base, so just ignore that aspect of the game. There would be no reason why you'd want to do it anyway, because if they're on the start, they can't go any farther than the start, and if they're at their home base, the game is over regardless. But there's also tiles that players can play from their hands that aren't road tiles that can happen to do certain things, like the radioactive, radioactive roadway remove any piece at the end of a road. So you can't remove a connecting piece that has to be at the very end of the road, just like a monster would destroy a piece like that. This would do the same thing as well. It's a way to slow players down from progressing across the board. The monster buster, the one thing that everybody starts with, returns the monster to its previous position, stopping it from hitting you and potentially saving your, your keister, if you know what I mean. There's also a swap tile. This will let you swap any road tile with another, but it has to be a legal swap. You can't simply make a road no longer connect to another road when swapping that road. So you have to make sure that they do connect all the roads that they normally would attach. And then the re-roll. This one here says that you can choose to re-roll the die or a single, we can re-roll both their respective die or force another player to re-roll their specialty die. So when they roll a die, if you don't like what you got, you can choose to re-roll that. Or if your opponent got something too good, then you can stop them as well by simply making them re-roll. That is pretty much the main things in the game. There's probably some other little little actions I may, may or may not be missing out on, but the idea of the game is very simple. This is a game that has a retro feel to it. It has a high quality about it as well. All the tiles are nice and thick. The board is thick. It's a nice monster piece. Kids can easily play with this game, and I think the age is about right, eight years and up. It's very simple to play. You roll the die, you do what they say. This board tells you. They even added this nice big player board, which could have just been a reference card, but they made it nice and thick and big, which was nice as well, and it gives you a really easy to understand how they all work. Monster, monster, move monster to any tile, except these specific tiles and this one here. Pretty straightforward, right? And that makes it very easy for families, very easy for kids. This is definitely gonna be one of those games that functions similar to a roll and move with tile placement that would be good for kids and family. Yes, it is random. You're rolling dice and you're drawing random cards. You don't know where the monster's gonna go, but there is skill involved as well. You are placing specific tiles down that you want to place and where you place them will make a big difference as to how your opponents are going to get across. You have to think about the easiest way for your opponent to win and the easier way for you to win without aiding and abetting your opponents. And there is a little bit of trickiness to that. That being said, though, it's fairly straightforward, and usually there's a best play to make. Sometimes there's a little bit of a 
challenge as to how you want to play the game but for the most part you know what you need to do in order to win this specific game now will you that's another thing because who knows how the die are going to roll and what's going to happen and where the monster is going to land you could get a plethora of terrible luck in this game and lastly have to go back to start quite a bit your roads can be destroyed by many players and in general the player who is in first is usually the one who's going to be picked on the most so it functions that munchkin logic where it's like oh he's almost going to win so we're going to try and stop him from winning and thusly somebody else can potentially win because players will run out of those specific actions from their hand in order for that to happen regardless though this is a simple nice family game it was actually really enjoyable i wasn't sure if i was going to like it because i'm not a big fan of roll the move or lose turns or that kind of stuff well and while there isn't any lose turns there are certain things that will make you go back to start but because the game is so quick so straightforward and works really well with kids i think this will do really well with a play group of people who enjoy these type of games now is it my go-to type of game no not really there's a little too much luck involved in it there's a little bit too much random like you know the die roll and the cards you never know what's going to happen but at the same time while i was playing it i had a lot of fun it was fun watching my opponents suffer having to move them back having to kind of move my road around and i know where i want to get but at the same time i'm not sure if i can get there by the time my next turn rolls around obviously with more players comes more shenanigans and with less players it comes down to more head on head to head back and forth placing and whoever can make it first is more of a race than a social aspect to the game but i think this is a game where most players when they see it they can go this is a game that would be good for me and my kids or me and my wife uh or as opposed to oh this is a game that's got a little too much chance and it. it's got a little too much luck in it and it's more made for a family friendly audience which my game group is maybe a little bit older so either way you can kind of decide for yourself how or whether or not you want to pick up this game overall it's a solid little gateway game with a nice little added touch of the the road placement the tile placement uh choosing where and how you want to play certain things with that basic luck element of rolling dice and playing the cards out and seeing where the monster lands overall a solid cute little game that i'm definitely this i'm definitely sure there's an audience for and if you're one of them check out the link down below and pick up the game monster highway and i promise i will not sing anymore if you do